G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and I'm back for another video in this series, this time taking a look at some Delphi learning resources. Delphi comes with a multitude of sample projects that you can look at, and so we'll open a few of those by clicking on the Open Sample Project link. And we'll have a look at the Split View demo first. Which is a simple application that demonstrates the split view component, which is this panel on the uh, left here that it can hide and you can set it to compact and so on. And the other thing this uh, application demonstrates is VCL theming, so we can change the theme. And theming is, is quite easy to do if you go into project options and the application appearance. And we can scroll down and throw in, I don't know, that one, and it's defaulted to that style. And so when we run our application now, we'll see that it's using that, that style. So we'll go back to the welcome page and open another sample project. This time we'll have a look in the multi-device snippets. And there's a Conway's Game of Life. And if you're not familiar with it, basically you can fill in a number of cells and then based on the a cell's neighbors and what have you, they either die or multiply. So if I start that, it sort of animates and it's reached a stable state. So if I stop that, and I'll add a bunch more. And we'll go parallel and we'll see that it uh, operates a lot faster using multi-threading. Oh, it's going to wander off into into infinity. And the final sample project I will show you is, in fact, if we have a look in the Git it package manager, and if I type game in here, we'll see there are, there are a number of games, and in particular Space Rocks, which I've installed. And if we open the sample project and go into games, we'll see the Space Rocks application, which is just a little Asteroids game. And in there, there is a sound manager and a cross-platform audio manager, which I've used in another project that just allows you to play sounds on different platforms. So there's a little bit of source code in there that's, that's actually quite, quite useful. Now, beyond the sample applications, there is, of course, just pressing F1. And we see we've got the help on T rectangle, and it's correctly picked up that it's the FireMonkey version. And it's got the uh, details all about that. In addition, there are a number of websites that are of interest. The first is the Embarcadero doc wiki for uh, Delphi, and you can just Google for it. And that contains lots and lots of documentation and information. It's, it's worth having a bit of a browse of that. And we can also just play in Google things. So I've done HTTP resume. I've got lots of hits on that. Uh, I quite like Stack Overflow, and it's a question and answer, answer site where you can vote on answers and what have you, and we can look at the uh, Delphi specific stuff, and there's lots in there, and if we look at me, we can see that this is the uh, last question I asked related to the um, RTTI context, uh, and I got an answer for that, I was quite happy with that explanation, and uh, this person gave another another answer, which is that using get declared properties was what I ended up doing. There's of course my website, uh, which you can go to, and I do lots of videos on using Delphi. There's the learndelphi.org website, and this contains lots and lots of useful stuff. Um, we can have a look at the resources, and we can see there's this my book listed there, and lots of other books. Um, it's, there's, there's lots of excellent Delphi books available now on quite a variety of topics. Embarcadero Academy, uh, this is a site of video, it's a, a sort of commercial site that contains lots of videos on using Delphi, um, but it does contain the Code Rage videos. Code Rage is an, a sort of annual conference that goes on, which is a very 
Delphi specific and contains I'd say a multi-day conference and it just covers a huge amount of topics. And we can see uh, a variety of, of things and so on. It's worth checking out Embarcadero's YouTube channel. Uh, you can also see check mine out. There's um, a few other YouTube channels which are probably worth looking at. Also, it's worth joining the LinkedIn group. We see that there is uh, almost 12,000 members in the Delphi Professionals group. And on Facebook, there is a Delphi Developer group, and there's 10,000 members on that. So they're, they're both worth investigating. So that's all I wanted to cover for this video. I hope you'll find lots of learning resources for Delphi. I'm Alistair Christie.